Hey Dana, welcome to my vlog. And this is a continuation of the new bed. Well, it got delivered today. Well, I guess that's all you can say it was done, was delivered. The, uh, they would not take it up the stairs without a waiver, which if we'd gotten a damage waiver, that means the, the mattress was voided from its 10-year warranty, which means if it sags, five inches within the next 10 years it gets replaced. So it is now sitting in our bathroom and from what the Tempur-Pedic site says it can be folded and moved wherever you need it to be moved to. I'm taking it that uh, the delivery boys just did not want to want to deal with it. So I'm not happy about that. And it even got folding instructions Folding in cold weather. On the tempur website. Folding during moving. And using the mattress. Handles. Oh, it's got handles? Uh-huh. None of the other ones that we've had had handles. So, anyway. We had a 35 dress. Yeah, in line. Okay. So, now the next thing I understand is that the bases are not in place either. So, this is where it's going. is going up here. Now, I've put a queen up here with no problem and not folding it so this should be able to be folded and taken straight up the stairs not gonna be though he, he wouldn't do so, it so um there should be plenty of room to go around this corner and take it in we got my office and the other one so and eh, would and, not put it in here and here are the frames Walked in here, so, and he walked up to the bed, and he goes like this. So the Where bed, am I putting it? So the bed. I said right there. He said, "No, I'm not." So the beds. Uh, so that was probably our fault. We probably needed the bed removed. That was our. That was our screw up. So, I can see that. I can't move the bed, dude. But I know you can't, and I didn't even think about pulling it and last I asked night. Him to take the mattress, and he said, yeah. "I'm not taking the mattress. I wasn't told I have to take a mattress." So the mattress. So they wouldn't, they don't take the old one either, but oh, well, I can Anthony see it. Oh, well, Anthony said they would, remember? So probably if we had it all ready to go, that was probably our fault. So Ain't none anyway. of this shit my fault. Anyway, but uh, there's, the, there's the frames. At least they're small enough. We can get them moved around in there. I want to get my... That hallway done, well, we but I will get. There. But I will get this. We'll move this out of the way. Get the new. Get. Wags? Get the. Our mattress on here for the night, and then uh, we can go from there. So, anyway, that's uh, where we stand with the new bed. Move it over there. Hey, well, the Nobody's been in here today except for me and them. Well, you're pretty crafty. Yeah, I'm good, wasn't I? Yeah, I would have never known. Yeah. 
Okay, this is a, this is a queen size base. There was no way I was getting this up the stairs. So, without cutting it. I've never known. As I just explained, um, that is a queen size base. It's not twins like the new ones are. The new, the new bases are twins put together to form a king. Well, that base would not go up the stairs. So I wound up having to cut it in half. And after that happened, I decided, well, to beef it up because you just got slats across there. So I took a eight by four piece of plywood and I, I took it. off the insulate uh, the, uh, do it. the covering to it, you know how I could do it and slid it underneath it and uh, restapled the restapled the cover back on. I would think they would just unscrew What's somehow what? those columns from that flat piece of wood. Somehow they got it on there. Maybe those things right in the front pop off. Maybe that's how you unscrew it.
75. Nobody even know. I got the answer. You got the answer, huh? Yep. So we got a queen set. I have a queen headboard and a queen footboard. And if you take those two columns off the foot and put them next to the two columns at the top, that will make that a king headboard, which I hate like hell to have you do. But if you cut up my footboard and take the columns off from it and put these columns right next to this one, put this column next to this column, it's going to make this into a king size headboard. There just won't be any foot to the bed anymore. But it'll be a king size headboard, and that way I still get to keep my bedroom set. I just don't get to keep my foot. But I don't know if you need a foot anyway. Most beds don't have a foot anymore, I've noticed, unless they're a canopy. Wire. 